You've probably been to the outskirts of Salem's campus, walking the square or seeing a show at the Performing Arts Center, but the school is celebrating its 250th anniversary this year. So it's time you get to the center of campus to see what Salem Academy and College is all about, and its revolutionary ideals started before the Revolutionary War. And you can see that it was marked Salem Boarding School. That is what Salem Academy and College started as. The, the textbooks and everything. It's, 250 years ago. It, it, it's amazing. As school archivist Donna Rothrock's documentation starts a little further back in 1766 with a group of Moravian young girls and women. They walked all the way from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania to what is now Bethania and Bethabra to create a southern settlement. Eventually, they moved to Salem with a radical idea by 1772 standards. Girls should have an education just like boys. Standing in the single sister's house those original girls lived in, Academy history teacher Michelle Hopkins Lawrence says creating the all-girls institution was just the start of Salem's progressive ideals. It was open to Cherokee Moravians, it was open to African Americans, both enslaved and free. That was just in the 1700s though. The next century was filled with segregation and enslavement at the school. It's part of Salem's history that Lawrence says was really not known until recently. It's 1811, washing one Negro woman, Betsy, $400. The Anna Maria Samuel Commission, named after the school's first African-American student, dug into Rothrock's archives, finding people listed as property. She says seeing this documented at her school is both difficult and necessary. It makes you sad, but at the same time, you're thankful that they did record that because we can go back and see that and we can correct. Salem did make strides in the decades to come, pushing its curriculum. And so this school in the 1880s, when women made up so few of the professional workplace of the office of business world, there were classes in business law, um, in commercial arithmetic. And in the 1960s, Salem Academy and College became one of the earliest schools in this area to become private and integrate. And you can see in some places we don't actually have a name. Yeah. Like this says Negro girl, this says Negro woman. Lauren says there are still more names and stories they have to uncover. So if you come this way. But at least letting the community walk through the original buildings helps keep the history alive. What really helps my students is that when they think about someone who's their age, and so Anna Maria Samuel was their age when she was here, they can make that connection with the stories of these women. It's important to have an appreciation of where you live and where you work and to understand its past and your place in it. Because for the last 250 years and the next 250, Lauren says the school's ideals remain the same. We're not a Moravian school, we're not a part of the church community, we're not owned by the town anymore, but I think we still have that DNA in our community that you educate girls and young women and you tell them the world is yours. And the Single Sisters House is open Monday through Saturday, so it's an incredible way to walk through the town's history. But the Academy and College is taking a step forward with its 250th anniversary, progressing the curriculum and the campus culture. Stay tuned all week long to see how the past is shaping the future here in Salem. I'm Jackie Pascal for WXII 12 News. Thank you.